Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing everything you need to know in order to choose the best Chanel foundation for you. I did this video several years ago now, and to this day, it's my second most viewed video, but so much has changed since then, so it's really due for an update. I'll be presenting these foundations today in order of least amount of coverage to most amount of coverage. That way it gives us some organization. It's a lot better than trying to rank them or do least favorite, most favorite. Everybody's going to have different preferences. So we'll go through each one. We'll talk about the ingredients, the differences between them, and then I'm also going to show you what they look like on my skin. That way you can see the application. By the end of today's video, you'll have a much better idea of which foundation will work for you. You'll have to pardon me, I may peer down at my notes every once in a while, but the first foundation here I have to talk about is the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint, which is sort of a foundation, but it's not. It's definitely the lightest coverage. So this retails for $65. It's available in six different shades. I use the shade Medium. This is meant to offer eight hours of hydration. It has a very glowy finish and no SPF. Now this water fresh tint comes with a little mini kabuki brush. It looks like a little travel brush. I lost mine. You certainly can apply it with the brush. You'll achieve great results, but you don't need to use that brush. You can use any foundation brush that you typically use or you can just apply it with your fingers. I do like to use this with a brush simply because I find that the bristles break up the little droplets of pigment. So it just makes it a little bit faster. There are three different ways you can use the Water Fresh Tint. The first way you can use it is as a primer. Put this underneath another foundation on the list or another foundation that you own. It's going to help to correct your complexion. So if you have any redness, hyperpigmentation, rosacea, you can also use it by itself, of course. There are plenty of people out there who prefer a no makeup makeup or at least they want to see their skin shining through. Something like this gives the illusion that your skin is perfect. It's incredible. The third way to use the Water Fresh Tint listed on the Chanel website is for touch up. When you apply it to your skin, you think, wow, because it also has that really beautiful sheen, that glow. It is really gorgeous on the skin. As long as you don't need a ton of coverage or you don't want a lot of coverage, this is beautiful. It's not going to be for people who want coverage. Let me just put it out there because I know some people love this and they swear by it and other people think it's the devil and they have no idea what the purpose is. The second foundation has a little bit more coverage than the Water Fresh Tint. This is the Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Moisturizing Tint. This is also only available in those six shades. Again, I have medium. It retails for $40. It has Kalancho extract, which helps the skin to naturally repair itself. It also has SPF 30. This would be the equivalent of the Chanel Tinted Moisturizer. And I am so happy that I did this video. I don't remember the last time I used the moisturizing tint, but I was really impressed. It was nice and glowy and gave a decent amount of coverage. It really is moisturizing, so this is going to be best suited for anybody with dry skin, normal skin as well, but if you have oily skin, I would steer clear from the moisturizing tint. This is going to be great for anybody who spends a lot of time outdoors because it's a great everyday complexion product. You have your SPF 30, it's not incredibly heavy, if you live in a warm climate, you're outside all of the time and that sun is always beating down on you, this is really great. Anybody who likes light coverage with dry skin is going to love this. The third foundation I wanna talk about is Vita Lumiere Aqua. This is one of the Chanel essentials and it has to be the most popular foundation from Chanel. It's beautiful. I've owned it in the past. I don't currently have it. On the last day that the stores were open, I ran into my local Nordstrom and I picked up a little sample jar of all of the foundations that I didn't have. So when I show you video applying the foundation, it truly is the Vita Lumiere Aqua and I wear beige 30. This foundation retails for $50. It comes in a bottle that looks Nearly identical to this Le Beige Moisturizing Tint. It's just a different color bottle. It's available in 17 different shades. It has SPF 15. It's water-based, so you definitely have to give it a little shake. You'll notice a difference if you don't shake the bottle properly each and every time. I know it's annoying. It'll come out very thin. And then in a couple months, you'll realize that suddenly it's incredibly thick and you have nothing left. So you have to make sure you give it a nice little shake. There's a ball in there so you can hear it rattling around. 
It's light to medium coverage. It is buildable and it has a natural finish because it's water-based versus moisturizing oil-based. If you have oily skin, I told you to steer clear from moisturizing tint, you're better off going with the Vita Lumiere Aqua. It only has SPF 15 versus the 30. Depending on where you're wearing the foundation, that may not be as much of an issue because it's not incredibly matte, it's not incredibly luminous, doesn't have a ton of coverage, it's buildable, it can be light, it's just kind of perfect all around. And that's another foundation that I was excited to wear again. And I remember saying to myself, as soon as I run out of my bottle, I'm going to pick this back up again. But that's sort of the YouTuber curse because you end up stockpiling all of these foundations and then it seems wasteful to go ahead and repurchase, restock an old foundation before you get rid of some of the ones that you currently have. But I do absolutely love Vita Lumiere Aqua. I highly recommend it. And I think it's sort of best suited for everybody. It really is that beautiful foundation. I know plenty of mature women. I always kind of laugh when we say mature, but people with more mature skin can still wear Vita Lumiere Aqua. I mean, if you are very dry, is it going to be the best choice? Probably not. If you're oily, it works for you. It's not the most matte foundation option either. And also it's a decent price point. At $50, it is one of the lower price points. The Le Beige Moisturizing Tint at $40 is going to be the least expensive option. But if price point is a factor for you, $50 is pretty reasonable. Coming in at number four is the original Vita Lumiere, which comes in a glass bottle. This is another foundation that I don't currently own. I've owned it in the past, but I do have my little sample. And I use the shade 30, but it's not 30 beige. It's actually 30 Sendra. This foundation is a little bit strange. It's only available in eight shades. This is not a widely popular foundation for that reason. It has medium coverage. I would say it's medium buildable. It contains walnut extract and marine extract, so there are some skincare benefits in there. It has a radiant finish. This foundation is beautiful for anybody with dry skin. All of the shades run a little bit yellow gold. So if you have a pink undertone, if you're incredibly fair, if you're incredibly dark, you can't wear this foundation. Not a lot of people can. I mean, eight shades is not very extensive. I pulled up the website quick because I wanted to double check and the Vita Lumiere Moisture Rich Radiant Sunscreen does contain SPF 15. So it's not a ton of sunscreen, but there is a little bit there and it retails for $60, which I would say is the average price point for a Chanel foundation. This is a beautiful foundation. It looks gorgeous on the skin. It gives a nice glow, but it's really only going to be best suited for somebody with dry skin who can find a nice shade match. Smack dab in the middle of our list, coming in at number five is the CC Cream, which retails for $55. It's available in five different shades, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I use shade 30 beige. It also has SPF 50, Moringa Plum Extract, which is chock full of vitamin C. It has hyaluronic acid, medium to full coverage, and it's a luminous finish. I would say this is sort of a luminous matte. It is going to give you some glow, but I don't find it to be too glowy, too greasy. It's kind of right there in the middle. Now, if you are incredibly oily, I'm not sure the CC cream is going to be the best option for you. I would probably go with the Vita Lumiere Aqua. The Ultra Latent Velvet would also be a great option for you if you're oily. But if you're normal combination, if you're dry, the CC cream is beautiful. I've ranted, I've raved about this product. It's one of my favorite Chanel products, one of my favorite complexion products. This, like the Waterfresh Tint, can be used multiple ways. You can use it as a color correcting cream. So a little dab underneath your foundation is really going to help even out your complexion. You can also use it as your foundation. It's kind of easy. It's a nice tinted moisturizer. It comes in this squeezy tube, easy to throw in a makeup bag, easy to travel with. You don't have to worry about dropping it on the floor. This is a great tinted moisturizer replacement if you like that type of product and it has so much skincare in it. So this is a standout to me because there are so many yummy ingredients and at $55, it's still towards the bottom of the price list. It used to be 20, 30, 40. They added the 10 and the 50. It's better than it ever has been before, but it's still not great. So 
lots of improvement needed in terms of shades but if you can find a great shade match in the cc cream it is a product that is worth having on hand because it has spf 50 this is great for spring summer if you're somebody who spends a lot of time outdoors you forget your sunscreen this is perfect at number six, I have the Ultra Latent Velvet. This used to be one of my favorite foundations. It's another one of those foundations that I said I would always replace, and I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but it is truly one of my favorite foundations. They reformulated last year. There was a little change. Some people felt like they could notice a huge difference. For me, I couldn't notice any difference. I did half my face with the old formula, the other half of my face with the new version, and I was looking as hard as I could closely in the mirror. I saw no difference between them. So for me, it is just like the old Perfection Lumiere Velvet, which I also really loved. So this foundation also retails for $50. It's available in 13 different shades. It has SPF 15. It's oil-free. It has sheer to medium coverage. It's lightweight with a matte finish. This would be the best option for anybody with oily skin because it does have a matte finish, but because it's Chanel, it's not extreme matte. It's not going to be drying. And I know a lot of women with more mature skin who also really love the Ultra Latent Velvet. So I think it works really nicely on just about everybody. It photographs beautifully. It does have the SPF 15, but it's not such a huge amount of SPF that it gives flashback or anything like that it looks very smooth on the skin and it's pretty long wearing in my personal opinion. The last few foundations on the list all have similar coverage. They're all medium to full. So you could sort of lump them all into that category, but what separates them is the price, the finish, and the ingredients. So this next foundation is Le Beige. This retails for $60. It's available in 14 different shades. It has SPF 25, Calancho extract, hyaluronic acid. It has a natural matte finish, but it's very thick and creamy, far more thick than the Ultra Latint Velvet. So they're both sort of matte, but very different formulas. And this is intended to give you a summer glow or a healthy glow. But really what that means is that all of the foundation shades reflect a pink light. If you prefer a neutral or a golden olive undertone with your foundation, I would steer clear from Le Beige. I would instead go with the Ultra Latent Velvet. As long as you like coverage and you want a matte finish, if you want something with more of a hydrating, luminous finish, I would go with the Sublimage Latent, which we're gonna talk about later. Next, we have Ultra Latent. This is the foundation that I'm wearing today. I wear Beige 30. It's a very slight difference between Ultra Latent and Le Beige. I almost think that since this was released, there's not really a point to having Le Beige, except that it does have the Calancho extract and it does have SPF 25. Ultra Latent has none of those things. There is zero SPF in this. It is long wear, 24 hour wear, full coverage. It retails for $60. It's available in 30 different shades, which isn't really that impressive by industry standards, but for Chanel, 30 shades is as good as it gets. And they do have a nice variety. So it does get pretty pale. It does get pretty dark. There's not a wide spectrum in between, but chances are pretty high that you should be able to find a great shade match with Ultra Latent. This is the formula that I always recommend for brides, anybody who's going to a special event, if you have photos, maybe you have headshots. If you want something that's long wearing, this is going to last from morning at the office until happy hour and then late in the evening for dinner. And it lasts a long time, but it looks beautiful. That's a very important distinction because if you guys remember the formula that this replaced, I think it was Ultra Tint to New, something like that. That foundation was the long wear formula and it was terrible. It dried down really fast. It got sticky and tacky and it would crack and it just didn't look great for a long time. The Ultra Le Tint was the perfect reformulation. It's a lot softer. It's far more forgiving because it has a luminous matte finish. If you're incredibly dry, this may not be great for you. If you're oily, normal combination, it'll be beautiful. Problem free. The last foundation I have here to mention is the Sublimage Le Tint. This retails for $135. 
it's an elevated price point because this is Chanel's anti-aging skincare foundation. It's available in 10 different shades. Here I have beige 50, which is very dark for me normally, but this is a great shade match when I'm sunless tan. The Supelmage La Tint runs a little bit light. And when I have two layers of sunless tanner on, my 30 beige is a little bit too pale for me, honestly. I mean, I don't like to make a habit of buying foundations that are super, super dark just because it limits the time that I'll be able to wear them. But it is nice to have a couple foundations that truly are dark enough for me. So this actually works really nice. It contains the same vanilla planifolia that's the key ingredient to the entire Supelmage anti-aging skincare line. According to Chanel, it's medium coverage. I would say this is medium to full. It's one of the most full coverage foundations I have. It's a luminous matte finish because it has skincare. It starts off looking sort of matte-ish, but then not long into your day, you will realize that it is very hydrating. I learned that lesson the hard way because as much as I love this foundation, when it's dead of summer outside, I cannot touch it. I really can only wear this foundation fall, winter, when it's a little bit drier because it's just too much for my skin. I think it looks beautiful. It just feels a little bit too heavy for me sometimes. If you have more mature skin, this is the best option for you. Even if you just like coverage, if you're a little bit dry, this is sort of the best option for you. I think it works for you regardless. Because of the elevated price point, you may want to wait until you really need the skincare benefits. And it does come with a little brush, but just like the Lay Beige Water Fresh Tint, I have no idea. I think I probably held on to the brush the first week and then it disappeared and I haven't found it since. Just like Ultra La Tint, it doesn't have SPF. so. It would be great for special occasions or any times that you are going to be photographed. If you don't want something that's a matte finish, the Sublimage really is beautiful. Best suited for anybody with dry skin who wants skincare benefits, but could work really nicely for just about everybody as long as you're not oily. If you are oily, you're not really going to love this foundation. And that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you found this information helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me your comments, your questions down below. I'm happy to give you recommendations. If you wanna drop me a comment, tell me a little bit more about your skin. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything that I have today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.